Hello everybody, it's Scott Omato back for another Batania setup and this is going to be some automation of the pedal apothecary with refined storage. Pretty simple to do but quite useful. Um, so this is a rather compact setup here. Uh, I do have the refined storage creative controller with a crafting grid on top of it and then the pattern grid over here and a crafting monitor there to monitor the progress the disk drive that will have our items on it that we need and then an interface hooked up to it now over here for the botania side we have a floating hopper hawk and we have our pedal apothecary uh, and it is automated for water and i'll show you that in a moment the open crate on top of it uh, the crafter coming out of refined storage with just a simple cable coming out of it going upward and it goes into a chest which goes into a hopper then into the open crate. Now, the reason you have to do that is because the way the crafter um, is programmed, it needs to see that all the items that you're uh, putting out in your recipe can fit into the inventory that it's going in. The open crate will only take one item, so it won't uh, interface directly to it because it doesn't see it as being able to hold those items, which in fact it can. It can only hold one at a time. Um, so that's why that is, and uh, I will show you an alternative item that you could use uh, that's a little bit more sophisticated. But this is a pretty simple setup, and it works well. So, of course, we put our patterns in here, and uh, I will show you how to make the patterns uh, here in this as well. Now, let me show you quickly, though, the automation for the Pedal Apothecary. Here I have a mechanical user from Extra Utilities. Uh, I use that a lot. It's very versatile. And inside I have a Rod of the Seas from Botania and a Band of Mana. The Rod of the Seas requires some mana. If you give it a Band of Mana, then it, it'll work. And you put it in the mode Activate Block with Item. Right click, upper left slot only. So it'll only do the Rod of the Seas. And then in this instance, I have it to be always on. Uh, so it's just looking to see that there's no water in there. And as soon as water's gone, it'll fill it right back up. Now you can put a lever or some kind of redstone control on this and disable that uh, and enable it only when needed. And for big setups, that's recommended. Now I did use the floating hopper hawk here and the full hopper hawk because the petite uh, is just a nine by nine or three by three. And so it'll miss areas over here. Um, but the interesting thing is that having a hopper hawk right next to the interface on refined storage will import it directly into refined storage. This exposes all of the inventory of refined storage, input and output. Uh, you, you can see from right clicking it. And the hopper hawk will put it right into the refined storage fine as well. Uh, being that you have this large area, uh, available to you. You could also just put whatever into refined storage uh, by just throwing it down on the ground and it would go in to the system here. But that could be a problem too, so you may want to watch for that and do something a little bit different. Um, but this is the Batania way of doing it and you can do things like filter it and stuff like that. All right, let's just look at creating a recipe. All right. You want to be in, first of all, when you come into this system, uh, let me just go ahead and just clear all this out so we can start from scratch. Uh, get rid of that. Okay, when you first put down your pattern grid, you're going to be in this interface here. Uh, you want to choose processing mode, which will give you a machine mode uh, to handle processing recipes rather than crafting recipes. And um, let's look at the Pure Daisy as one uh, in JEI, you can get the recipe and then you can uh, click it into that interface. Now you can see that it's got mushrooms and petals as an option. Uh, they're technically or dictionary possibly, um, but I've had not very good luck with that. So I just try to get the petals and keep with petal recipes and I only have petals in there. Uh, you can experiment with the or dictionary uh, clicking here to see if that's improved at all. Uh, but you do definitely want blocking set. All right. What blocking will do is it will make sure that the crafting steps are done and that this machine 
uh, only gets one recipe at a time. That way you don't get multiples. Like if you were trying to produce several of these, then it wouldn't keep putting petals in. It would finish this recipe first and it would be blocked out from any other operation until that recipe completed. So that's important. Very important to have. All right. But when you can see, when you click it in from JEI, you have the petal apothecary up here. You want a shift click it, it out to clear that out. And then you do need to add seeds. All right. So you add seeds to your recipe. So it'll give you these petals and then the seeds and that'll produce the pure daisy. And there you go. There's your pattern. Okay. When you sh shift on your pattern, you could see it'll show you what it is. Now you put it into the crafter up here. So you can see I have an endo flame already and I have a pure daisy that we just made. So let's make an endo flame. Uh, when you click on it, uh, I'll just give this brief tutorial. You can see it says craft. That means there's none in your system. You can craft them. So you click and it'll give you this interface. You choose how many you want. Let's just do one and it'll go and do it. Did I click away from it? Um, oh, I had a pure daisy in process in between. All right. That you could tell here in the crafting monitor what's going on and if there's any problems with your setup. Uh, here we go. So that'll drop the items in, drop the petals in, and then produce the um, end of flame, and it'll be grabbed there by the hopper hawk, put into the system, completed it. We now have an end of flame in the system. Let's do a pure daisy, same technique. Oops, uh, hit it. Got to click twice. There you go. Putting in the items, grabbing the pure daisy. Hopper Hawk gets it, goes into the system. Very simple, guys. Very, very simple. And so pretty much any of your uh, Botania needs that you have for the Petal Apothecary, you can handle with this system. You can see that the um, it got refilled quite easily. So you could just add more of your recipes inside of there uh, to be able to handle it. You know, Hydrogena, Thermalily, stuff like that. Uh, involving runes, you can do multiple crafting steps uh, to get to those. And maybe in a, a more advanced video, I'll combine these. I already have a video on how to craft the runes. Uh, so you could easily auto craft those as well to include in your recipes if you need it. But anyway, let's keep it simple, guys. That is the Petal Apothecary setup. I said I was going to show you a um, another item that you could use in place of this. So let me do that. Uh, let's just tear this out. Right here, it should give me my crafting back, yeah. Uh, it grabs something and put it into the system. One of the craftings, that's okay. Um, it is the precision dropper from Cyclic, which is kind of a new item that they've added. Pretty nice uh, tool there. Let's just uh, come up from here. So we have something to uh, place it against. Actually, I need to put it down there. Now let's put it here. Uh, you can rotate with the uh, wand of the forest. Let's see where we're at here. There we go. Okay, so you want it facing downward. It'll face in all directions. And then you could just interface your cable to it directly. Uh, well, not it directly with the crafter. Crafter, crafter, crafter. Hey. Creative's good and bad. Crafter. Okay, grab that guy real quick. Put him on. Then we rotate. You want the uh, this to be facing toward the item. This band here, that's, that's the correct orientation. And you could see that it takes us down one that we need so there we go now what's nice about this guy is it has a configurable delay on it it can require redstone or not it has the small inventory you could choose an offset which is pretty darn cool from it uh, and then you could choose how many items you want to drop at one time so this is a pretty useful guy uh, but i'll just put in one there and let's just go ahead and make another endo flame oh i need to uh Put the craft my recipes back in to the crafter there and there. 
Okay, we'll just make another end of flame. Start, start, and you can see it works perfectly. Gives that item, and there you go, back into the system. So this is a nice uh, tool to use along with Botania. So it just takes some gold and a dropper, not very expensive at all. Anyway, I like to provide alternatives and modded stuff, but when possible, I try to keep it at a minimum. Uh, well, that's not true. You could see from my videos, I go crazy sometimes. But anyway, this is Scott Omano. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Leave a like on the video if you do like, and consider subscribing to this channel to get more videos of this type. Uh, have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.